Helga Harris and Jerry Gilbert walk their Hungarian pulleys by the Henderson Pavilion every day. We love it that it's green. Feels like my own garden, but somebody else is taking care of it. <laughs> they are worried that if a new multi-purpose venue replaces the pavilion, it could change the landscape of the area. You know, we're losing so much green space as it is. It's called Green Valley, so we want to keep it green. The city of Henderson was already looking at building an enclosed facility after the pavilion's canopy structure was severely damaged from bad weather. When the announcement of the Vegas Golden Knights affiliate minor league team was made, the city jumped on the opportunity. Well, I'm really excited in general to have a hockey team. I think that's going to be very exciting and good for Henderson. But she is hesitant about the location. My daughter was actually in a car accident right around the corner outside the pavilion about a year ago um, because the traffic is already very congested here. So I'm interested to see how it's going to play out. The arena would seat 6,000 people and could host concerts, performances and graduations along with hosting the AHL team. The police station is not going to be torn down. The multigen center is not going to be torn down. We understand the traffic issues. They need to be solved. Okay, let's go. Bye. Residents like Helga are still looking for more information. We used to come in here for the theaters as well, so I don't know if there's lots of activities. I don't know enough about what's coming. Now, the city will be holding a public meeting on Monday, March 9th. That will be at the Sun City McDonald Ranch Clubhouse from 4 to 7. Reporting live from Henderson, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. Tiffany, thank you. New 